Hey guys, it's Indai, and today we're going to watch Awesome Ranking Episode 9. But before we do that, let's talk about some things. So first, in case you are new here, welcome to my channel. Basically, I make anime reaction videos. And since I got the copyright strike, I usually add a timer to my videos. But if you want to watch a reaction video without a timer, please do check the description box. I always leave a link there. So thank you so much for dropping by and I hope you find something interesting from my channel. So next, in case you are wondering why I have a different background today and why I look different. So I just attended a wedding and I think it's kind of obvious I nearly lost my voice. So I'm really sorry, Mina-san. I'm going to do my best. So please bear with me. Now it's time for a short recap. So episode 8, Sealed the Deal, I have trust issues now and it's difficult for me to tell who to trust aside from Boji and Kage. We also found out last time that the one who stole Boji's power was actually King Boss himself. Like what kind of a father is he? He should be ashamed of himself. I remember when he was still alive, he put a lot of pressure on our boy, Boji, and he even had the nerve to put some of the blame on Damas. King Boss wasn't man enough to take responsibility for what he did to our boy, Boji. Now, let's try to talk about Hokuro-san and Damas. So, Hokuro is a bigger man than Damas, even though there was a possibility that he will get executed. He still went back to the palace and reported everything to Queen Hile. So when he was about to be executed, the biggest surprise came about. Damas went after Hokuro-san and he even saved him. So when they were about to escape, unfortunately, King Boss jumped out of nowhere. But the thing was, King Boss ordered Damas to go to the underworld and annihilate the monsters. So I'm not really sure why he wants Damas to do that. I'm not sure if it's also like an order from the mirror. Lady Miranjo insisted that they kill Queen Healing. So I am hoping that Bebin will resurface in today's episode because we need someone to protect Queen Healing. Another thing, Minasan, I was kind of confused why Lady Miranjo did not know what King Boss was trying to tell Damas and Dorsh or Dorshi. So now it's making me think that maybe the king is really keeping secrets from Lady Miranjo. And if that's the case, then that might mean that King Boss is trying to redeem himself. He's trying to make things right this time. I also wonder if there is a way for King Boss to return Boji his powers. As for a piece, Minasan, I still don't want to dislike him. So hopefully in today's episode, he will man up and start doing the right things again. And as for our boys, Boji, Kage, and Despa, they teased us really well last time. So Despa said that Boji is now ready to show Kage and all of us what he learned. So Despa called it like the Despa art. So I hope that we will see the Despa art in today's episode. So without further ado, Minasan, let's try to do this. Onegaishimasu. Okay. We have not died there anymore. Boom. <laughs> Why is he trying to show off? <laughs> Whoa. A flashback to the first time they met? Really? Oh, okay.
Oh no. Oh. Now that's like the hardest thing to hear for a mom. Okay, Hina Sun, since it's the OP, I would like to take this opportunity to once again thank all the awesome ranking fans, all the awesome ranking viewers for always showing love and support each time I release a reaction video. So thank you so much. And I also would like to thank Feyun Slope Bulletin Board for leaving a comment again. So Feyun wrote what King Boss said to Budji before. So King Boss said, I have given you the best swords master in the land. You have no excuse being so weak. And it's so heartbreaking to know Minasan that at that time, King Boss already knew why Boji could not wield a sword. So yeah. And I also would like to thank Koryu Sai-san for also leaving a comment. And you really do have a good point. I agree with you. It's difficult to say for sure if Lady Miranjo translated what the demon said correctly. Or maybe it's also possible that she changed some words and it's also possible that she might be using King Boss for something. I'm not sure though. So yeah, but thank you so much everyone for interacting with me. Arigato gozaimasu, she does. So back to this one. All right. The Queen, yeah, and the shield. Oh. He can hear. Oh. Yeah. I hope he's good enough to protect her. Or as I have mentioned, I hope that Bebin will resurface in this episode. Oh, so he's gonna face all the beasts by himself? Okay. Wow, he is like a shield. Flashback, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, why do I feel like before King Boss died, he planned everything to protect Queen Healing? I'm not really sure. <laughs> What's up with that attitude? Really? She said that before? <laughs> she did not act like that with Domus, though. So cute. <laughs> oh, so that's why. Ah. <laughs> uh. Boji gave her like a really hard time, Mina san. <laughs> that was like enough exercise <laughs> for queen healing. Boji! Kawaii! Oh. 
I think he's gonna offer it. He actually offered it. Is that his mom? Hey, it's too early for this. <laughs> Okay, try it. It's too early for this. <laughs> he still ran away? Oh no. Oh, not your fault. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Really? Ah. Hi. Congratulations, Ben. When did this happen? <laughs> uh, Mom, what's this? <laughs> okay. So he's supposed to be like the bad guy here. <laughs> Door should be like, what did I sign up for? <laughs> Back to the present, okay, back to the present time. Why do I feel like King Boss tried the beast before so that he can tell if, like, Dorsch can defeat them? I feel like King Boss was just, like, checking if the beast were weak enough. <laughs> are not strong enough for our boy Dorsch. I hope I'm right though. I'm, I hope I'm right. Because right now, King Boss needs to redeem himself or something like that. But we're not sure if King Boss is the real villain here. Like I said, I have trust issues now, so yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Oh, he can do that? What? Ooh. Ah. Okay. What is it now? Oh. Wow. Wow.
Oh, so that was like not a good idea then. Was it enough? What was that? No. Oh, 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 oh. He actually told him. Okay, so King Boss wasn't actually trying to protect healing. And he even sacrificed Dorsh? It fired him up, Mina-san. I like that move. But he lost too much blood. Oh no, he's gonna pass out. No, 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 no. What now? Yes. Is he happy or not? Enjoy what? Oh. Is that supposed to be Lady Mirangelo? So she never was like a human? Hmm. She knows. She, uh. Okay. Okay, I am so confused right now about about those two. She knows. I love her. <sighs> Sorry about that. Daida. Oh. So now it's like um, the goal is to rescue Daida. I think Queen Healing and Boji can do it together. I hope not. It's just a child, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
the underworld, but can Boss order Domas to annihilate the monsters there? I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the confrontation. Just like that. <laughs> she asked him just like that. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love her. Aww. Tell him, tell him. He can hear her. She actually heard him? Total concentration. Silence, Mina sign. Kajiyuki sign. Well done. She knows? She knows? What can they do? <laughs> but how? <laughs> but how? So it's like just it's just like a special connection. Oh, but if he if she's gonna kill the king, what what's gonna happen to Daida? Yeah. <laughs> oh. No. Why? Oh no. Okay, so he's trying to help them? Huh? So that's why he ordered um, Domas to annihilate all the beasts so that no one can come. I know, but what's gonna happen to Daida? It's like, it's like a farewell to Daida. I mean, like, the queen is going away. Oh. Kajiyuki, you're breaking my heart. I wonder if King Boss can also hear Daida. Aww. 
It's okay. Why is he thinking of Bodji now? Ah, yeah. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, Minasan, we did not even see Kage and Despa in this episode. Okay, fine. Yes, guys, that was awesome ranking episode 9. So before we end this video, let's try to talk about the things that happened. So after watching episodes 8 and 9, I'm getting a strong feeling that King Boss is actually trying to redeem himself. He's trying to make things right this time. It seems to me like he already planned everything before his death. So he planned on saving Boji, Daida, and even Queen Healing. I remember in episode 8 when Boji was born and after the king saw him, the king said, I want my son to have a life where he has everything. And that was like his new mission in life. So that's why I feel like he's trying to redeem himself now. Another thing, when the king decided to make Dorsh the queen's shield, I feel like that was also part of his plans. Like he knew that Dorsh was enough to protect Queen Healing no matter what. And if you guys remember, in episode 8, King Boss ordered Domas to annihilate all the monsters in the underworld. And in today's episode, it is confirmed the beasts that were supposed to attack Queen Healing were from the underworld. So Lady Miranjo summoned them from the underworld. So maybe that's why King Boss wants to kill all the monsters so that Lady Miranjo can no longer summon anything from the underworld. King Boss told Dorsh to take Queen Healing with him and run away and escape because he knew that Lady Miranjo can do something far worse than summoning those beasts. I'm just hoping, Minasan, that this strong feeling of mine is right. Now it's time to talk about the fight between Dorsh and the beasts. So I am very happy to see that Dorsh is alive. I really thought that he was going to die because he lost too much blood. Like I said earlier, Minasan, like in episode 8 when the king was testing the beasts, I think it was because he was trying to see if the beasts weren't strong enough. For Dorsh, or if Dorsh was strong enough to defeat those beasts himself. Now it's time to talk about the mother and son, Queen Healing and Prince Daida. So I am very proud of Queen Healing in today's episode. She was so determined to get to the bottom of everything. Like she was brave enough to ask and confront the king. I was so surprised that Queen Healing was able to hear Daida and Daida was able to hear Queen Healing. So I really do feel like they have a special connection. I'm not sure though if King Boss was able to hear Daida too. So I hope we get to learn more about it in the next episode. Now Minasan, as for the voice acting, Kaji Yuki-san never fails to amaze me. So if you guys don't know yet, Kaji Yuki is Prince Daida's voice actor. He delivered the lines really well, Minasan. Especially like the breaking of Daida's voice, like when he said, like, help me, like, paskete, paskete. Like, it really moved me, Minasan, so well done. Another heartbreaking thing about this episode, Minasan, was that we did not even see Boji do the Despa arts, and we did not see Despa and Kage. We saw Prince Boji, but it was just like a flashback, so yeah. By the way, Minasan, the scene where Boji offered the cake to his mom's grave, that was so touching. I think Queen Healing was also touched by it. Lastly, Minasan, let's talk about Daida's realizations. So Daida realized that the mirror was behind everything that is happening to him right now. Another thing, Minasan, when Prince Daida said, like, I cannot hear my mom's voice anymore. He felt so alone. He felt like no one was going to come to save him. And then he was like, is this how Boji feels? I am so glad that Daida was able to realize a lot of things in today's episode. But I do hope that Daida would also remember 
that even though Boji feels lonely all the time, Boji did not give up in any way. And I hope that these realizations will motivate Daida in a good way. And that's it for now, Minasan. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Matane!